What's up dudes? Today we're going to be reviewing the Hokie Rhino electric motorbike. What makes this e-bike stand out in the pack is it has a relatively large 1,000 watt rear hub motor and also a relatively large 26.1 amp hour battery pack. Should make for some pretty good range and power. I really don't know though, so let's crack this thing open, take a closer look at it, then we'll take it out for a full review. First thing I'm interested about this bike is the box is quite a bit bigger than our normal box. The actual weight is pretty typical. I think it's just under 90 pounds. Actually, it's 83.77 pounds. Quite a few boxes inside of here. This must be the battery. Oh yeah, this might be a better idea. Heck yeah, dude. This is wonderful. The wheels are already on it. It's pretty light without the battery. Dude, this thing's like built. Amazing. What a pleasant surprise. No. No rear suspension. So, it's a hardtail. Got fenders. Metal fenders. And a little uh, cage thing here. What else? Oh shoot, tire pump. Battery tray up here, tire pump down there. Check out the handlebars. Right, they got like a little bit of a rise. Sweep back just a little bit. Typical round rubber grips. Gamma hydraulic disc brakes. Here's where you adjust your pedal assist. Well, look at the display here soon. Seven gears on the Shimano shifter and a twist throttle on the right. Slap them up here. Actually dude, we gotta put this battery on the charger so we can get it out for a ride. Holy smokes. Wow, this one's got a unique shape to it. Looks like a gas tank. Legitimately, kind of cool. It's got keys too. This is the nicest packaged battery I have ever received. So despite the actual listing on the website, this says 48 volt, 27 amp hour. I mean, 1300 watt hours of energy is pretty considerable. So it's got a little button here. Blue is full. I guess. And despite the shape of the actual battery, it's just like a normal tray holder kind of mount. So the little blue bar says it's fully charged, which would be 54.6. Let's see where it's charged at. 52.2. Man, it's like 80-ish percent charged. So one of these is probably the charger and one is the headlight. I'm guessing this is the charger. Totally wrong. Pedals, charger. Which charger do we get? Decent one. This is one of the nicer ones. It is a three amp charger. So good. Definitely a little bit more of a uh, quality charger than some of the cheap bikes I get. And a little tool. So 27 amp hour battery pack divided by three amps would be about nine hours to charge this gas tank if you ran it down to zero. Since it's almost fully charged, it only take about an hour or two to top off. So it's got front suspension. Front suspension is X-ho. 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 Travel is 100 millimeters, boost 135 millimeter, rake 42 millimeter. Hydraulic brakes are Gemma GA1000 on 160 millimeter rotors. There's the pattern. Get the same, same thing on the back here. Same brakes and we'll look at the motor here in a moment. Front suspension has a compression adjustment on the right, typical preload on the left. And as I mentioned before, nothing on the rear, so hopefully this seat is good. It's got a rear light. And here is the 48 volt 1000 watt hub motor from Banks that we get. Tires need air. It says inflate to 20. I'm gonna do 15 because there's no rear suspension. <laughs> And if you haven't noticed by now, we're working with knobby tread on 20 inch tall by four inch wide tires. And once you get the headlight and fender on there, it starts to look a lot more like a motorbike, which it is motor bike. And I gotta tell you, that was one of the quickest and easiest builds I've done in quite a while. Definitely did not give enough time to charge the battery. Let's get it on there and feel it out. Oh yeah, let's quick try it on there. And we should probably remove this sticker. It just doesn't look so great right there. That's better. Here's what a six foot five dude. 34 inseam looks like sitting on this motor bike. So probably won't be pedaling this one like most moped style bikes. A little bit of room on the seat to move around just a bit. Kind of has like a low profile cafe racer kind of vibe to it. It's got basically the same seven speed gears that we see on like all these bikes and a Shimano derailleur. So let's power it up and see what we're working with. Probably hold the plus button to turn on the backlight and the headlight. So it shows us motor power, which is awesome. Temperature in Celsius, hopefully we can change that. Battery life is showing half. So it looks like the range estimator on this is gonna be uh, conservative because I just measured that battery pack at, what was it, like 52 volts or something? And you know, I would say that's over half. So always good that they measure conservative rather than tell you you have more range than you actually do. Uh, so we get 
time, pedal assist level, miles per hour, front and center, distance. Let's tab on through some of the options here. Average speed, max speed. Oh, it shows us the, vo the voltage of the battery right there. Nice. So like I was saying, like, you know, 48 volts is kind of more like half. 54.6 is full. Distance, no odometer. Pedal assist levels. So you get zero, one, two, three, four, five. Here's the headlight when you turn it on. It's like a eh, medium-ish brightness. Not the brightest, surely not the dimmest. Pretty decent. Here's what it looks like from the front very motorcycle vibe then around back we get a tail light which is a brake light it's a pretty bright rear brake light and grabbing that lever makes it a little bit brighter no turn signals or horn you do get a bell so let's rip on that twist throttle a little bit so they say 1000 watts this is pedal assist 5 full throttle ready go and we're gonna have to get in there and change some settings Popping this out at 20 right now. So I'm gonna have to figure this manual out and see how we can boost that up. Actually, dude, they make this super simple. All you gotta do is hold the up and down button for just like, I don't know, a second. Then it takes you here, out of the box. Max speed is 32 kilometers an hour, which is 20 miles per hour. Let's see what we can bump it up to. 40 is 28, so 42, 43. All right, so there is no real limiter on this thing because I mean, we're, this is like 40 miles an hour, 50 miles an hour. It's not gonna go that fast though. 72 kilometers is the max. 72 kilometers per hour is about 44.7 44.7. And you know what? Now that I ran the motor, it's showing the battery is uh, pretty much full. So I think it just needed to get like a reading kind of. Anyway, let's get on this thing, take it out for a ride, see how it feels. So let's roll out. Whoa. <laughs> Of course, we'll start with the Strava so we can track our official distance out of this giant fuel tank here. And to tell you the truth, uh, with no rear suspension, I'm actually gonna go put some riding shorts on under these shorts. Ah, much better. So first things first, we'll run it up the 20% grade and getting on this thing, it just kind of looks like a motorbike. I weigh 200 pounds, we'll do throttle only on pedal assist five from a dig here. Ready, go. Oh yeah, it feels like it's got some power. Pretty good torque on the hokey rhino for sure. Pulling us straight up, no pedaling. So first things first, I will not be pedaling this bike hardly at all today. I can just tell, you know, this is this is not gonna be a pedal bike for me. This thing definitely has a strong motorbike feel. Just like the, the riding position of this bike, it kind of like, it's like a low slung, like kind of puts you like a little forward, like a, like a cafe racer kind of vibe feel. Do a little back pedaling right now, full throttle. Uh, Pelasys 5, here's an acoustic bike for you. Oh yeah, rolling into this corner, man. This thing feels nice. So you guys know that I personally prefer a uh, full suspension bike. So this is a hard tail. We'll see how it pans out today. On flat streets, if you're gonna be doing uh, street riding, this thing might be all right for you, but you know, if you're gonna be doing off-road riding, that's when you kind of want full suspension. Let's see what happens if we put this thing down to pedal assist one and give it a little pedal off the start. So it'll take us up to, so you get your wattage all the time and it is a cadence sensor. So cruising at 10 miles an hour on pedal assist one, what's the throttle do? Oh, so throttle gives you everything. Showing 1100 watts, you got a stop sign though. So what does pedal assist two do if we start pedaling? I'm gonna bump it on up to gear number seven here. Gives us about 200 watts, 250 watts. So, you know, if you really wanna make big, big range out of this thing, if you run it on like a lower pedal assist, obviously, you'll get significantly more range. So yeah, that's nice. It gives you about 200 watts there and eases on. It's uh, not jarring or anything on these low ones. Brakes are feeling great. Let's give it a little pedal here from a stop on pedal assist three. Let's see what happens. So now we're getting about 400 watts of power. And that'll take us up to 17, 18 miles an hour, eh, 19 miles an hour. Still already moving pretty good on pedal assist three. Let's try pedal assist four. I hope my phone doesn't fall out of my pocket. So now we get about 550, 550 watts. And this is so awkward for me to pedal, man. Like I'm like running out of gear kind of, like for my height. See my cartoon legs moving along here. I don't know what that takes us to, honestly. But it is a cadence sensor, so you can just kind of ghost pedal. I'm just kind of, you know, turning my legs, but not actually pedaling at all. I mean, not putting in power. I like the way this thing feels going into corners. All right, so I'm tricking, you know, the thing, just doing ghost pedaling. I'm, I'm not actually putting any power down. And this is bringing us up to about, uh, well, we got a light. So I'll grab these brake levers at the last moment here. <laughs> so one thing that I really like about this bike is, you know, even though it's like a really basic display, we get our battery voltage and our motor power output. So, I mean, 
That's like the most important things to me. The motorbike will not be taking the BMW, unfortunately. Probably not that motorbike either. So I gotta say, it is like a pretty rigid rear end here. Seat has, you know, a little bit of squish to it, but um, it feels firm and planted. It's definitely firm. With my riding shorts on, I actually feel good though. You can feel the bumps a little bit. Oh, that, <laughs> that was a little bit harsh there. Again, you know, probably not your first choice for off-roading on this motorbike. I really hope I don't get a flat going through this. Ugh. Ugh. Ah, I got a little marine lighter coming in. Let's get on out here uh, on the road. Oh, there's a shopping cart. And see what it'll do for max speed on a full charge. Showing uh, 31, 29.5. See how accurate that speedometer is. So it might be reading slightly, slightly high. We got this light. Fast enough to get out here and ride in traffic just a little bit. Fast enough to probably pass a little bit of traffic. Got a wee woo right here. What is going on? Whip this turn a little wide. Motor showing 950 watts. And I'm just pinning the throttle, 930 watts. Brakes feel great. I am noticing being on this bike, like I'm, I'm liking being like up closer um, on the front of the seat. Cause like when, you, when you're like towards the back, like if you're kind of like a lot more stretched out. So you got like kind of riding positions on here. And I would say you could probably fit two people on here if you're a smaller individual. This doggy does not like skateboards. He's barking at this dude. Oh, we got, we got, uh, rap shoot going on here in our zero to 20 spot we can wait for it to clear up here all right so we'll do zero to 20 all right ready go full throw so it gives you all the power right away takes you up pretty quickly and we are hitting 20 so this thing moves pretty good like it's accelerating it's like a thousand watts Woo. <laughs> you guys recognize that rapper guy? I don't know anything about any celebrities. So a lot of times people ask me, do I prefer a twist throttle or a thumb throttle? And I have to say definitively my answer is a twist throttle. It's just so much more easy to control your power with a, with a quarter twist throttle. I mean, ultimately I prefer like a full uh, length of the handle twist throttle, but like these ones, you can just control it. Thumb throttle is just like, your thumb is like, there's like a lever bouncing around and stuff. So we'll take it out there on the sand a little bit, try it out. For now, let's see what kind of pedal assist lag there is. So have it on pedal assist five, not pedaling, pedaling and power. And then on pedal assist five, it ramps that power up pretty darn quick. Not pedaling, pedaling, power. And what if we just kind of like do this? It doesn't kick in the power. So that's actually a really good thing. So you're not accidentally getting power and then you got the throttle. So let's give it a try on this hill up here. I'm, I'm not going to pedal at all. So, oh, well, we got a lot of traffic. Let's see. There's no chance I could pedal this thing really. Well, all right, I'll try. Okay, okay. No, that's not going to work. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I don't know how this thing's going to do out there on the flat sand, but we'll try it. Going uphill is always a little bit tough. So I am just straight up going to stand going over this grass section because I already know. This would be pretty rough sitting on this bike. You can just hear it bouncing around. Not an off-roading bike, but once we're out here, we're cool. What's happening out here? Whoa, what is this dude doing? That's pretty cool. Hey. Wondering, does this have like a longer wheelbase than a normal moped style e-bike? It, it feels like it's handling like pretty nicely on the street. Is that Sir Ron? Oh, Mantis. That's the Rar Mantis, I believe. Hey, if you're liking this video, give it a thumbs up. What's happening up here? Oh. Front end comes up nice. So we can see this thing does good riding on the street. Let's go see how it'll do on the sand. Hey, look at that. There's some uh, not e-bikes out there. Take a turn off here, see how it feels on the boardwalk. Ugh, not excellent. And we'll downshift it just a couple gears and see what happens with a bit of a rollout. Ugh. Hey, it's actually doing better than I thought it was going to. And when you, when you get the power like way down, or when you get the speed way down, it still gives you like a thousand watts of power. So it makes it like, even though it's, I don't know, man, like I'm not able to like kind of get traction or something. Maybe if I lower the PSI, it might be able to do it because it's giving me all like 1200 watts. This tide is like really high this evening. I don't know what's going on out here. Marine layer, high tide. And it's still uh, pushing 1200 watts, basically 11. 
Oh no. <laughs> Dude, I almost got taken out by that wave. The tide is like so high. Still ripping 1100 watts. So this is like a real torture test. Dang, look at there's a huge pothole. Still ripping 1200 watts. So, you know, on the, it can do off-roading. I feel all the little bumps. Um, let's see how we can do getting through here. I uh, just probably the, too much pressure in the tires and it's still giving me all the power though. We'll see if the controller overheats because I'm just smashing this throttle. Still 1200 watts, but I have to kind of give it some little pushes with my feet. I'm like really, I feel really guilty about running this throttle wide open right now. But hey, we're gonna test this thing. Doggy's like, what the heck is that noise? Hey, we're almost there. Waddle, waddle, waddle. Straight into it, 1200 watts still. <laughs> All right, we'll see if it overheats, but that was quite the brutal test there. So, this is a 750 watt hub drive motor, they say a thousand watts max. Although, we just saw it run basically 1200 watts for like I don't even know what was that, like a couple minutes. Who says you can't get exercise on an e bike, man? Getting some exercise out here waddling through the sand. Oh, that's one way to get exercise, I guess. Here's another way. What's more fun? Look at this doggy living the life. So voltage right now is showing basically 52 volts, still showing all bars. So I mean, huge battery, pretty much what I would expect, especially considering the weight of this bike. Like the, the battery, the battery range to weight ratio of the bike really isn't bad at all. Some of these bikes have like huge batteries, you know, like a 60 amp hour battery, but it makes it so much more sluggish. Let's roll into the DJ potty and then we'll try this hill. So pedal assist five rolling in at about 10 MPH, then full throttle now. Boom, still pulling that 1134 watts is what it's telling me. 11, 1120 watts pulling 11 miles an hour, so strong. Strong hill climber for this bike on this hub motor. It's torquey. It's a party out here, man. Good vibes on Friday. I feel like we might actually be able to make it through this like harder sand with it being like slightly downhill. Let's see. Oh yeah, this is kind of powering through. Pretty good, really. I'll have to help it a little bit. Come on, come on. Eh, I guess not quite. We'll just keep beating on this motor and battery though. I'm really just kind of helping it stay upright right now. Let's see how this headlight looks like going underneath here. Oh, yeah, you can see it on the ground there just a little bit. All right, dudes, let's hit a quick little brake test here from 20 on the Gemma hydraulic brakes. 20. And these things feel pretty darn good. I mean, they are hydraulic. Whoa hydraulic disc brakes and uh, 160 millimeter rotors on these smaller 20 inch diameter wheels seem to do just fine. Oh, look at this pink furry bike. So let's see what kind of speeds we can hit going up the California incline. It's an 85 foot climb, 12% great. Going into the loop-de-loop -loop and we'll do full throttle now. So this thing handles pretty nicely. It's got the spoke wheels, so they're a little more controllable than like the mag wheels and pulling 10 miles an hour i mean that's a solid performance spoke wheels are lighter but you know they could potentially be a little more maintenance over time and starting down here what is happening here on the california incline today 10 miles an hour 12 miles an hour 15 miles an hour 18 pulling 980 watts 19 Oh, what's that? There's like a firecracker that just went off out there, dude. I think those kids are throwing firecrackers up there, man. 20 miles an hour, still pulling 960 watts, and we have a dog in the bike lane. For those of you new here, we were just down there on the bike trail, and there are children throwing firecrackers out here. That's, there goes all the rascals, I think. That thing can tear the sand up, man. It's got the lightweight advantage. Party is still popping out here, man. So final thoughts on the Hokey Rhino, dudes. I mean, this is an $1,849 bike. They gave me a $20 discount code down in the description box. Make sure you click that link and read the description box if there's any changes to that. I'd say the main benefits of this bike is obviously the big battery, you know, 27 amp hour, 48 volt system. That's some pretty big watt 
hours. So you can get some pretty big range or just cruise at high speeds for, you know, longer, which I mean, that's pretty much the way I use a bigger battery, just go faster for longer. And this is a pretty fast bike. Motor and controller on this bike is good for climbing hills and cruising at high speeds. I would not get this bike if you're planning on doing like a lot of off-roading like this doggy over here, tearing it up. So if you do want to grab one, click that link down below the video on the description box, buy through that link and it would help support my reviews and I greatly appreciate your support. Oh, this dude's riding backwards. Downsides, you know, it's got, you know, no rear suspension and the seat is kind of hard. Uh, we're sitting at 50.7 volts right now and there's something happening right here, maybe for the YouTube. So let's head on home and see what kind of final range we get out of this battery. See what kind of speed we can get when we're down to whatever the battery is. Probably like 70% right now. Throttle only. So it looks like it's pulling about yeah, dude, that's the thing. It, it just uh, reduces your power once you hit that 28. It's fast enough to ride on the street, though. I hope I can make this light. There's no way I'm making this light. Come on! Let's go! Let's go! No, no. We gotta take the shortcut. So, just rolling up on 17.5 miles an hour and 39 minutes of ride time. Average speed, 10.55. And our battery is showing. 49.7 volts which is reading um only missing one bar there so let's go ahead and just call it 50 volts now depending on what lithium ion battery chart you look at that is roughly 70 percent remaining on the battery so what kind of range can you get out of this bike well you know it just depends i weigh 200 pounds i did not pedal this bike pretty much at all not even like one time today just because it's so awkward to pedal the range yeah you know it always just depends but it is a relatively big battery pack for uh moped style electric bikes so you do the math on your own if you want to grab one you can buy through the link down below this video use my 20 dollar discount code and of course i would greatly appreciate your support however if this is not the kind of bike you're looking for watch this video next thanks for watching guys catch you next time i've got to say man after sitting on this seat for like two hours it is a relatively hard seat and my my, my booties hurting man <laughs>